congratulations, you've made it to the Start Here page. After you watch this video, you're going to want to go pick a group. The group pick place, if we go back to the main page, it's going to be here. You just want to add yourself to one of these groups. We'll be using these groups later when we have Zoom meetings to break into small groups. Let's go back to our to-do list in the Start Here page. After you've picked a group, you want to go look around our whole As You Learn site. Familiarize yourself with the flow of the site. Notice that there are um, nine modules, and each of those is going to have the content for the course, as well as activities and assessments. I want you to also read over the syllabus pretty carefully, and then take the syllabus quiz. The quiz is directly based on the information in the syllabus. And then you want to go ahead and get started. Crack open your textbook, read a little bit, and uh, think about oceanography. The structure of the course is going to be these blocks. So each block is a different module. Each module, again, has the course materials, lectures, activities, assessments. The activities are going to be either um, forum posts or readings that have a little quiz that go with them. Just little activities that um, add to the content that we get from the textbook and help us to uh, satisfy those learning objectives. Each of the activities has a different due date, and those are noted in the instructions for each activity and also listed in the syllabus that we'll look, like, look at in just a second. The, uh, there are five exams for during the semester and then one final exam at the end of the semester just after Thanksgiving. So those all have due dates that are also um, listed in the syllabus. Just as a note, a prerequisite here is uh, the demonstration of readiness for college level math. So make sure that you have satisfied that prerequisite. Probably you wouldn't have been able to register for the course if you didn't already have demonstrated your readiness for college level math. If at any point when, during the semester you're having issues with assess accessibility, don't hesitate to be in touch. Uh, we can um, figure out how to make documents or videos more accessible. There's also a tool in YouTube where you can add captions if you need those. And there are lots of resources on campus for you to get um, help with accessibility. If you ever have questions, there's a Ask the Professor forum. We'll go back and look at that in the course resources in just a second. In that forum, you can uh, post any questions about logistics or content questions or, hey, what's the due date kind of deal. So go ahead and post anything and ask the professor. If you see that a student has posted in there and you for sure know the answer to that question, you are welcome to go ahead and respond to that forum post. Just make sure it's responding to your peers in a respectful way. And then always you can email me. So let's go back to the main page. That's, this is all the starting here. On the main page, in the course resources, this block is going to stay here at the top of the page. It's going to have all these resources in it. Announcements are going to be a place where all the emails I send to you will be kept. So every email... If you accidentally delete something, some information is going to be in announcements. Ask the Professor is what I was saying, a forum where you can post questions and answer them if you know the answer. We'll get back to um, the syllabus here. Let's skip down. This tech and campus resources is just like it sounds. It's technology resources to help you deal with the online technologies and campus resources, a wide variety of services and offices and people on campus who can help you out. Meet the Instructor is just a, a page that is a little bit about me, Laura Mallard, and how to get in touch with me. Our office hours will all be found there. This Instructor interaction lays out, I'll go ahead and click on it, lays out um, how I will be interacting with you through announcements on Mondays, Emails being the easiest way to be in touch with me. I have physical and virtual office hours. Check out those days and times. We're going to have our Zoom lectures and discussions on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the mornings. So you'll be, need to be present for that. Um, 
then the, the discussion forum for as a professor is 24 hours available. Um, I will respond to these within 24 hours. I'll be giving feedback on assignments and there's kind of a timeline for that to read through the instructor interaction when you have a chance. Okay, back up here to the syllabus. This syllabus here is a digital syllabus. If I need to update anything, I'll just put it into that syllabus. And I'll also update this printable, downloadable syllabus. This is something you can click on. It will download to your computer and you'll have exactly what is in the, the virtual syllabus. Netiquette is a link here that tells you how to act online. I know that seems silly, but it gives you some basics for interaction online with emails and forum posts and whatnot. The semester timeline, I'll click that now, is a PDF you can download. It's one page and it goes through each module, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and in the final exam. Within each module then is a series of due dates. This kind of looks like a lot, but actually each of these activities and the reading check quizzes are, are kind of short. They shouldn't take you, maybe one or two may take you an hour or more, but um, other than that, maybe 30 minutes for each of these little um, assignments. The bigger assignments like the exams will, will certainly take a little longer. So check out that timeline, print it if you want to. You can download it over here in that button. Back to the resources, let's dig into the syllabus real quick. So here's the virtual syllabus. Uh, we are in oceanography. I'm your instructor. You can call me Laura. She, her, hers are my pronouns. Um, there's more information about me, our office hours, the Zoom meetings. Um, here's a blurb about what is oceanography, just so you know what we're doing. We're in the Department of Geological and Environmental Sciences, and this is a part of the Blue Planet theme in Gen Ed here at Appalachian State University. For the course, you're going to need the book Investigating Oceanography. There's going to be some outside readings posted on As You Learn. From time to time, you may need to print something. I'll let you know about that in advance. Here's our schedule, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays. We have things going on. Uh, you're going to have a grade for the course, and that grade is going to be based on uh, activities. There's 13 of them. Reading check quizzes. These reading check quizzes are just to, so that I know you're cracking open your textbook and staying um, engaged in the course. The syllabus quiz is just that beginning quiz on what I'm saying right now about the syllabus. Those together, the activities and the reading check quizzes are about half your grade, right? So it's 100 points. We have five exams that are going to be 20 point each, and those are 100 points. And then so your course is going to be 50% exams and 50% those activities and quizzes. Every now and then you're going to have a forum post. So I just wanted to clarify like, how, like what the grade will look like with that. Refer to that netiquette PDF so you can know what to do and what not to do in a forum. But it's basically, is it posted on time and how quality is the post? It's not anything more complicated than that. And here's a picture of a manatee just to hold that space. <laughs> Here are the due dates. There are due dates for activities, quizzes, and exams. It's a long list, but like I said, they don't take a lot of time. The left column here's the module number. Remember, there are nine of those. There's more activities than there are modules because some of the modules have more than one activity. Lots of due dates there. The reading check quizzes, there's less of those. And uh, those are worth a little bit more points, six points each versus five. Then we have exams. There are five of those, four regular exams during the semester that cover a few chapters each. And then the final exam after the semester ends during final exam week. For technology, you need to be able to use the technology in this course. You need to be able to open uh, Microsoft Word files and type in them and save them and give them new names and send them back to me. You're going to need to be able to open PDFs, MP4s, or little videos like the one you're watching now. Congratulations, you got that. You're going to need to view videos on YouTube. Remember I posted a link earlier about, um, and it's down here too, how to get 
captions on YouTube if you need it. Okay, if there are any barriers to your completing the assigned coursework, let me know. You also are going to need to be able to Zoom with your device, computer, phone, whatever it is. You need to be able to Zoom with that. <clears throat> you don't have to have one, but a webcam is a nice touch. Academic Affairs has syllabus information here. Most of it's about um, not cheating and the honor code and about disabilities and the disability office and holidays. We won't have to worry about so much of the holiday thing because we're online. If you're going to be turning in something late, uh, you're going to get points off. So read through this. They're points off. If you know that something's come up, uh, send me an email in advance and maybe we could work out an extension, but that would need to be in advance on any little assignments. You do need to take the exams online. If you don't take exams, you get a zero. If you're not doing the work, you're not standing gazed, you're not doing activities, you're not completing the um, reading check quizzes, I'm going to be getting in touch with you. It's going to lower your grade. If you continue to fall behind, I'll, I'll um, refer you to the EIT, the Early Intervention Team, and they can track you down and see what kind of resources you need on campus to help you be successful in the course. Here's those prereqs again and just that statement about helping you out with any accessibility issues you run into. So that's the syllabus. And again, you have a quiz on that. I'm going to go back to the resources. So I think I've covered all the resources here. This will be a link, our Zoom, Tuesday, Thursday Zoom link. Okay, I'm going to go back to the main course. We'll look at those modules. Okay. Module 1, 2, 3, there's an exam 1, 4, 5, exam 2, 6, 7, exam 3, 8, 9, exam 4, and then the final. So you can generally see how things are separated. I'll open the first module, yeah, the first module, and we'll see what it looks like. Within the module, the first thing you come to is this date, and that is how long that module, content, activities, any assessments are going to last before we start the next module. The next thing is this objective button and each of the modules has objectives and I really encourage you to look at those. In here it tells you the course level objectives. So this whole course has objectives like what you what you're going to be learning during this oceanography class. And then uh, below that is what are you going to be able to do once you're done with this module and how that goes linked how that links back to the course level objectives. So the MOs or these module objectives, the COs, are kind of the overarching ones for the whole course. So take a look at those and refer to the objectives so you know what we're doing here and why we're doing it. So in each module then there are learning materials. Here are three PowerPoints and then the dates for when I'll be giving you a lecture on that PowerPoint material. The activity materials, in some of the modules, there'll be an optional um, little exercise, maybe something fun, a game or a video that's about oceanography and ref refers back to the content in the lectures. So in this module, there are two activities, activity one and activity two. The first activity is easy. You're just introducing yourself. The second activity is watching a documentary on the history of the earth and answering some questions about those. So the instructions are uh, in these pages here, and then the due dates also are noted. So there are two activities in this module. Uh, the modules are different. Sometimes there's one activity. And then there's an assessment. The syllabus quiz is just uh, a check to make sure that you understand what's happening in the course, and you understand what the grade's coming from, and all that information. And then here's the first reading check quiz. This is just telling me that you're staying engaged and that you're following along with this content. So I'm going to close that module. I'll open another one. So here is another module. And this one's shorter. So August 31st to September 4th. The, it's just a week instead of two weeks. It has the objectives, course level, and module level objectives. Then it goes into the lecture materials. There's only one lecture two Zoom days, there are, there's one activity, 
and then a short quiz. So this week has way less going on than the two weeks prior, and they're all a little different. So be aware. So go ahead and click through all these and just and, and see what we're getting into. Okay, that's it for right now.